effort to fill a child's backpack. Right. That's why Dolls for Daughters, uh, now known as Kenzie's Causes, you've changed the name just over the weekend. They're dedicated to giving away new backpacks filled with school supplies to underprivileged children and their families in Colorado every year. And here to tell us more about this incredible program is Jessica Backus. Thank you for coming on the show again. You've been on yes. um, with all of your causes. Everything is now under Kenzie's Causes. Um, so why don't you tell us about what you're doing now? Yeah, so we just um, decided as we entered our 10th year that mm -hmm. we really wanted to um, kind of align our name with all of the programming and we changed it to Kenzie's Causes over the weekend but still running the same programs mm -hmm. that we do including the backpack program called Packs for Kids. Yeah, yeah. tell us more about this Packs for Kids. So, um, you know, I learned over the years having my own children, being a former school teacher that um, every August it's really expensive to fill backpacks for your kids and knowing that the poverty rate in Colorado is so high I really wanted to work to create equality for these kids when they start school and every child feels empowered mm -hmm. when they show up the first day of school with a backpack full of school supplies. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, so what do families need to do or know to be able to get one of these backpacks for their kids? So um, basically if they need help they just need to show up on August 11th at okay. Dick's Sporting Goods Park and we have them fill out a survey and that survey really just helps us learn more information about the families that we're serving. It's completely anonymous and we use it to get funding. And then we do ask them that they bring their children because we know that the kids really enjoy picking out those backpacks oh, full yeah. of school supplies. Right, yeah. <laughs> How For many sure. kids do you hope to serve through this? 1,500. Uh, so <gasps> it would great. be children in ECE through 12th grade. And we actually um, differentiate between those middle school and high school backpacks from the elementary school because those kids kind of need different yeah. things. 1,500. That's mm -hmm. incredible. Yes. That's wonderful. So uh, if I can just kind of go back in time a little bit, you turned loss into something just so amazing. Thank Tell you. us about Kenzie and why you started this. So um, in January of 2007, I was six months pregnant with Kinsey, um, and she is my second child, and um, she was stillborn, and that was life-changing for me, for my family, um, all the hopes and dreams that we had for our family that was going to be two daughters and things like that really changed the moment mm -hmm. that we lost her, and as the holidays were coming that first year, I was really struggling. How do I find joy for my older daughter and get through the holidays when I really just wanted to kind of sleep? through them and I came up with the idea of collecting dolls for girls in our community and it was at that time 11 years ago that I called it dolls for daughters never thinking that it would ever be anything more mm -hmm. and we collected dolls and gave them back to girls in our community who would go without and it was just really rewarding I was able to find joy from my sorrow and um, I kind of thought it was one and done and here we are and now it's just years turned later. into yes. something yeah. so much bigger that's why yes. you're calling it Kenzie's causes so you can do more absolutely and um, you know, we'll still offer our toy shop program called Dolls for Daughters and Toys for Boys, where we provide gifts for boys and girls in our community. And then we have our Kinsey's Kids program still, where we work with um, smaller groups of families, helping them financially, and then our Packs for Kids program. Mm -hmm. Gosh, through the, through the dolls and the kids program mm -hmm. and the backpack, I mean, it just must be countless families that you have helped. Yeah, our um, programming alone has helped um, more than 48,000 low-income kids in Colorado ensure that they've either had backpacks or um, funding to be in an extracurricular activity, and mostly um, our biggest program is our toy shop, so gifts during the holidays. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me you love hearing the name Kenzie. I and do. And this way people will say it over and over and over again. Yeah, um, you know, I miss her every day and I wish she were still here, but she has a legacy. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for people to realize that when someone's lost a child, they don't forget. And it doesn't hurt their feelings um, to have their child's name be said. It just mm -hmm. is a way to honor her and it really helps our family as well. Oh, very yeah. touching. Thank you. Thank That's you. Thank better. you so much. Thank you. Yes. We always have That's Kleenex really on the show yes. ready to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And Gonna help a lot of kids. Yes. Thanks for sharing and for spreading the love, you know. So the Packs for Kids backpack giveaway is happening August 10th. It kicks off at 9 a.m. and ends at noon or until they are out of backpacks. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. The event's free, but it's first come, first serve. So for more information, visit Kenzie'sCauses.org or call 720-330-2804. Coming up on Colorado's Best, Apollo's Picks Deal. It's a disc taco.